Good afternoon, everyone. This is Henry with Simpler Trading, and as we get into the free video for Friday, pretty sharp sell-off here to end the quarter. And I believe the situation where the selling that you saw to end the day may be due for a little bit of a bounce, right? The way it's just kind of pure liquidation and just no bids, it kind of creates a vacuum almost. And it's a vacuum that is currently working relatively well with one of the levels that I like to study. So when the futures markets reopen here in about 40 minutes from the moment that I am creating this, what you want to look to is the S&P futures and see if we're holding 4538. If we remain above this, I think you're due to retrace at least 50% of the move. I'm going to measure that from the 4631 high down into that kind of capitulation low that was made there at the end of the day. So it's thinking that we could bounce at least into 4578 and then depending on if it has legs from there, uh, 4590 after that and then also just and this is maybe not quite as clear because just being the first of April, you know, it is a time where you can see inflows right and of course april has the tendency of being a very bullish month i've seen this come up quite a few times in various conversations so it is a compelling statistic right to say that over the past 17 years the dow has been higher in april every time the average gain has been three percent so as we head into you know this q2 and in april more specifically it's the idea of whether or not that will be able to come through again so we shall see but these couple of reasons set me up to be at least a little bit bullish heading into april 1st and then 4600 was that final strike i wanted to give you where if they are looking for some type of pinning action uh, to round out the week, I don't think that 4600 would be too far-fetched, and that would be one spot to look for. And uh, I think that's the most direct place to be, right? Rather than going to a lot of equities, we just got to see if this S&P level holds, what the employment data brings on Friday, and then we'll have a fresh assessment once we see how these levels are working. So I hope that helps. You guys have a great rest of your evening, and we will see you in the next free video. Hey traders, this is Henry with SimplerTrading.com. I wanted to thank you for watching today's video. I hope you found it helpful. And if so, be sure to click the like and subscribe buttons down below. If you would like to also see me putting these ideas into action and trading my own account live in front of you, be sure to sign up at SimplerTrading.com and I hope to see you in the chat room sometime soon.